wanted to make this video for a little while just based on the reaction to my video about quitting uh, Marvel Strike Force. Uh, a lot of people were at, like, why? Like, why are you quitting? Or what's going on? And um, I figured I would talk about that a little bit more. People seemed really interested, so I figured we'll talk about it. Um, but first, make sure to say hello to Marty. This is Marty's brother, sister. Um, we're not sure. It's kind of hard to tell the gender of a box. If anyone knows any tips on telling box genders, um, please uh, shout me out in the comments so I know how to tell. Because I, you know, I want to be respectful of their gender, but it's a box. So a lot of people have been asking, and they're just like, "Well, why'd you quit Marvel Strike Force? Why this? Why that? Why don't you want to play anymore? Oh, like, if you ever want to come back, like, I just want to like address that because yes, I said I was quitting. Yes, I kind of gave a little bit of reasoning, but not really a ton of reasoning. So I wanted to think about this, and I've been thinking about it for a couple weeks now. And I just kind of wanted to just give myself the, I guess, like I said, the opportunity to just like think about it and not like rush something out and be like, oh yeah, I'm just trying to get some views. But like, no, nothing like that. But like, I guess what I'm getting at is just like, why? There's a couple of reasons um, and I can just start and they're not really going to be in any specific order. I'll give you the ones that like, to me, like I'll say like, this is the main reason why, but like. First off, what I think about is just <clears throat> Fox Next did not have like player friendly decisions that they were making. Now, I understand that Fox Next has been purchased by Scopely, I think is the name of it. I don't know anything about them. I've heard positive things, but that doesn't really matter to me. Uh, the damage has already been done and the model has already been set. So that doesn't really matter to me. But with me, with Fox Next, like I worked closely with Fox Next. Like I talked to uh, Cerebro, the community manager, uh, pretty regularly, I would say. And it just, it never mattered what any of the content creators suggested. And that's not a knock on Cerebro. That's not anything against him. Him and Zeke's were incredible. They were really like, they were like the people who were helping us. Like they were trying to make the game better for us. And they really were like the last bastion of hope for a lot of us and there was just not a lot they could do their hands were often tied and they couldn't talk about things or like they couldn't do like whatever whatever and it seemed like a lot of times they would it seemed it felt because of what they were and were not allowed to talk about it was really easy to feel ignored um, I know that was on reddit a lot of people got mad because they'd be like oh why do you respond to these things but not these things and it's just because like that's what they had to do for their jobs so I think that's one of the hard things that sucked because like I never really interacted with Zeke that much, but Cerebro, I mean, I interacted with a decent, but he's a good guy. He's a really good guy. And if anything good comes out of like this game and everything else, then it's going to be in large part due to him and his work um, as well as the other content creators. Um, but it's just, it got to be too much for me. I was worrying about it all the time. Like just like thinking about it, just like frustrated. And that was, I didn't want to do that anymore. I got tired of that because there was no benefit. Nothing was changing. I wasn't, you know, really getting anything from it. So to me, that was a huge thing that I was just like, I don't, I don't want to deal with this anymore. Like, I don't want to have to think about this next reason. And this is the biggest one for me is just, um, man, like the time commitment. Guys, if I could show you my average time spent per day on my phone, it was uh, nine to 10 hours a day, and around six to seven hours a day was Marvel Strike Force. And that was not counting my Blue Stacks time. That wasn't counting streaming, recording, uh, or doing anything on my PC. It was just strictly on my phone. And that was just, oh my God, that was that's too much, guys. I was. <laughs> There were some days that I was on my phone playing Marvel Strike Force longer than I was working a shift at my job. And that's just, that's heinous. And I wasn't even having fun. I was doing it because I felt like I had to, to help my friends. And a lot of people have said like, oh, well, if you don't want, if you can't keep up with the high end play, then don't play or play a more casual way. And I'm just going to tell you guys, like, I don't have fun playing games casually. If I'm not the best person that I can be then I don't want to play it. That's how I am with all competitive games. Like if you <laughs> if you guys ever saw me play Fortnite or like Apex or like any battle royale type games, like I could have the best game. I could have 
30 kills and if I don't win the match, like I'm going to be mad. I'm going to be frustrated. It's going to like stew on the inside of me. And then I'm just going to be like, I don't want to play this anymore. And eventually you just get really burnt out. And that's kind of like what Strike Force had become because it just, it began to cater towards like more uh, whale type things, which is understandable. It's a free to play game. That's how that has to work. So don't hear me complaining saying like, oh, well, I couldn't do everything. But it did lead me to have a larger time commitment in the game than other people because I wasn't going to spend money because if you guys been watching this channel at all, you know, I don't do that. And um, so just FYI, for those of you who are watching and you're going to leave a comment about how I'm a whale or that you're happy I'm leaving like many of you did on my last video because you're ignorant. Um, I've spent $25 on this game uh, two years ago. So yeah, I know such a whale. Oh God, ridiculous. Just so blubbery. That said, the time commitment, it just killed me, man. I was spending so much time and here's the thing, guys. <clears throat> Maybe it's important for you to sit and take inventory of your own lives. Um, I'm not calling for a mass quitting spree of the game. Uh, I think you need to decide for yourself. For a time, it was fine for me to play. But I realized a lot of things in my life suffered because of playing Marvel Strike Force. And I didn't believe that when people, other people had quit and said that. I didn't believe it until I quit myself. And I was like, oh, they're exactly right. Guys, my social life suffered. I wasn't spending time with friends. I wasn't texting. I wasn't responding to texts. I wasn't anything I did when people were around me I wasn't talking to them I wasn't interacting with them I was always on my phone like I didn't feel like I can would connect with people and a lot of times I'd just be upset and I'd be like oh like I can't connect with people because people think I'm weird or don't like me it's like no I couldn't connect because my head was jammed down my phone constantly and the simple fact is since I've quit I've been spending time with people I've been just like being around people I feel like my relationships with people around me have grown and that's been such a positive thing and I really largely attribute it to not being on my phone constantly and to me like that's just kind of just kind of crazy that something so little that was meant to be for our fun had then instead addicted me in and just like held me and I couldn't stop I didn't feel like I could stop to me playing Marvel Strike Force was a way of Combs's life where you wake up in the morning you blitz you do raids you do this you do that um and it just felt impossible I felt like I could never stop and now that I have stopped it feels incredible because it feels like I've been free of like something that was like holding me captive um and that's crazy to say but I urge you guys to just like take inventory of how much time you're spending. And maybe you're not like me. I think that if you can enjoy this game on a casual level, that's the best way to play it. But I could not. I didn't have fun. I didn't want to do that. So I realized that it just damaged a lot of relationships, friendships, and I didn't want that anymore. Honestly, you guys, uh, right now, um, and those of you who watch the streams are going to be so proud of me. But like right now, like I'm like talking to uh, a girl right now and it's pretty serious. Um, and I just realized that like I want to go into that in a fresh start and YouTube's not my full-time job so it's like for me like I can take or leave YouTube I love it I love the interactions I get to have with you guys and just everything about it <clears throat> that's incredible I love that I do it's my favorite thing and I love how much you guys have changed my life and I love how I've been able to possibly positively affect yours um, but going into this new season of just relationship and jobs and I want it to be fresh I don't want to be held back by something that's not good for me and I can tell you, uh, being on my phone six to eight hours a day, playing repetitive content that is exactly the same is not good for me. It is good for no one. So I want to go into this fresh and just make the best of it and just put my best foot forward. And, um, you know, that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I'm not going to rant about this girl, but I definitely could. Um, she's super awesome. And I just I want to give her my attention and my affection. And I don't want that to be going into a game, you know, a game that I don't even like. So that's kind of just where I'm at. Those are really the main reasons. Uh, I don't know. I also kind of got bored. The repetitive content was stupid. Like <clears throat> I was just far enough in the game that every time I opened, I think I opened probably like the past like two or 300 premium orbs. And I think I got like maybe like 10 non-duplicate drops. That just feels bad. That was another thing that they just never changed was like stuff that felt bad. Like there's stuff you can change that doesn't have to feel the way it does and you just just make it feel bad the rng elements like that's whack dude like if i'm gonna spend all this time doing raids and like formulating the best teams like first of all don't give me rng results in the form of orbs don't give me this bs timer on these nodes that cannot be beaten 
and you can lie to my face and tell me that, oh, well, the reason why we have timers is to balance content. And it's like, no, it's not. The reason you have timers is because people are going to time out because you make these nodes ridiculous and then people are going to spend cores to refresh nodes to get further on. Okay, don't don't lie to me. And so it's just, I don't know. Overall, 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 honestly, I'm doing great. Um, if you guys have watched the other content that I've put out, um, I'm having so much fun. Like, it's fun. Like, I'm having a blast. And, like, it's more fun than I may have ever had making Marvel Strike Force videos. And so... All that to say, um, just a quick plug for my new content. Um, it's not exactly up everyone's alley. I've been able to see, uh, but those who have watched it have had very positive things to say about it. So I would love for you guys to join in on the new direction. If not, I understand. But also let me know if there's something that like something about it that you don't like. Like if you're like, oh, you know, whatever. I'd love to know because I would. You guys are my audience and my people. This is the Beard Gang. But I would love to be able to just show you guys more content that you want to see as well. Because I love the interaction. You know, with less views comes less interaction. And that honestly takes away the just the joy that I find in doing YouTube. So uh, if there's something that would make you guys want to interact more, uh, please let me know. And uh, we can do that. So that's all I got. You know, I don't have anything else. Um, I got this new camera. It's pretty dope. Look at me. <laughs> I don't know what that what that is. Oh, there goes my cat. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Like I like, I just like interacting with you guys. That's honestly my favorite thing about this. I could play or do anything, but uh, Strike Force was just becoming too much of a personal thing, and I was done with that. So that's it, guys. That's all I got. Uh, please leave me comments with what you're thinking and what your thoughts are. Um, if you don't leave hateful comments, you can. I'm just gonna make fun of you. Um, so just know that. I think that's all. Um, <coughs> You know, smash that subscribe button if you want good content. Thanks, guys.